All right, I am gonna take this Ruckus up the street. I am going to do a little bit of a test to see how it rides and everything. And I have not taken it on any sort of like length of a ride. So I'm a little, uh, and I'm really just gonna go fill it up. Look at this. Look at the beauty of a small scooter like this. I can't really get past it, but I can just do this. I can just lift it up. It's awesome. I mean, you uh, barely, just like one hand, like so easy. This is kind of like a dirt bike, really. Um, the one downside I figured out is that the uh, kickstand uh, or the um, the Kickstarter is not working. But I'll I'll figure that out. Let's uh, go for a ride. Uh, it feels already much better with some uh, air in the tires. Yep, moving pretty well. Okay, 20 miles an hour. It's a lot firmer. All right, already hit 30 miles an hour. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, now it's handling much better. Very harsh, like the suspension is almost uh, non-existent on this bike. Well, it seems to ride a little bit better. So, yeah, the uh, scooter seems to be riding pretty well now with the um, the tires inflated, but it still needs new tires. I'll probably fix that pretty soon. This thing is so light, and I think that's why a lot of people like this. And it is a cute scooter. Like, you have to admit that uh, this thing is super cute. This one needs a little bit of work, but you can't beat it. And it's a Honda. But I want to check this first because it uh, kind of bothers me. I, I really like having the kickstart as a backup. The last Ruckus I had, I had the same problem. So I wonder if this is just this bike that has a faulty kickstart. Yeah, eight millimeter. I'm going to remove these. A little warm from riding, but I'll take this cable out here. A lot of times I mess things up more than I fix, but sometimes bolts are bigger than others. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. It's nice seeing. I think the belt. That looks pretty good. I don't see much wrong with it. Kickstart mechanism. And I think it just needs to go around the spring. The diagrams and see what the hell is happening here. I seem to recall that there's something here. Where does that part go? Let's see. The previous owner removed that kickstart mechanism and I didn't realize it because there's a receipt saying that the kickstart was installed recently so there seems to be a problem with that that whole part is missing but it's not very expensive online it's about 20 something dollars so I'm going to order it and when I get it I'm going to install it it should be a very simple you know fix all right guys to remove I had a hard time removing the bolt for this you know, it always seems that people over tighten stuff, but this was really difficult. On this side, you're gonna need a, what is it, a 12 millimeter? Let's see. Yeah, a 12 millimeter to hold this. And then on the other side, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter here. And it should pull out the, um, it helps to have another person to help you, but I just use these pipes you can see I have an old fork 
here that I used and it really needed a lot of uh, leverage to remove. So let's remove it and see if we can get the wheel out. Okay, that's, that's out and from the right side of the bike I took this nut out. I wonder if I should remove this first. I've not removed a, a wheel on a scooter ever. So. Yeah, this is a tiny axle. So I put a jack underneath the ruckus so I can lift the front wheel and I should have done that in the beginning. A really tiny axle. Now, all right, it just slides out. Look at that. Easy peasy. Changing tires is all about technique, and I really hate doing tires, but I figure that a scooter tire is going to be a little bit easier. So, currently inflated, and it's pretty worn. It's all cupped up. One of these tools, you can get them really cheap, but you don't have to get the tool. You can just, you know, hold that down. But I just removed the valve stem like this and all the air gushes out. To remove the tire, you're gonna need tire levers like this. It helps to get even like longer ones, but this is what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. I wrestled with this thing for a while and I managed to get it out. Look how tiny this little rim is. And you know, before we put the tire on and everything, on the scooter I'm gonna lube all of this stuff with grease. But this tire is gone. Well, it went in much easier than it came out, that's for sure. So I have a new front tire. The only thing that you guys need to um, be careful is make sure that the tire is in the proper orientation, that the threads should go forward. There's an arrow on the tire that says the way it should be going. So look for it and then usually I match it so it's like this. So I'm going to put the tire, I'm going to inflate the tire and then put it on the, the bike. 27 PSI for it. I'll put it at uh, 25. This part, and I didn't notice this before, but there is a slot in the drum brake that twists. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a slot right over here, and that slides into that, so it should lock in there. And then on this side, it's going to be a little bit tight to fit the spacer, but you should be able to push it and get it in here. On <clears throat> all machines, but everything seems to be really well engineered on Hondas like this. And I bought a used one, so you have to be careful about buying used tires. They could be too old. They could also be very worn, but I needed to get something better on here, and I got a good deal. All right, here we are in the rear of the Honda Ruckus, and you can see the bike is fairly clean. We are going to be trying to remove the rear exhaust, mainly to get to the tire. There's a bolt right over there, and what I heard is that it's difficult to remove the tire, or almost impossible without removing the exhaust. This bolt right here is a 12 millimeter. Two for the exhaust. I think I have to remove it from underneath. Let's uh, tackle that. So I removed one of these bolts already. This is a, a 10 millimeter, but you have to use a, a long socket like this. So let's see if I can remove the other one. And that's that, it's gone. Let's see if this, here we go. And another thing you're gonna to have to do is remove the dipstick here in order to get it out. Look at that. A guy that uh, sold me the tire told me about this. Except I didn't listen to it the ruck is exhaust pretty heavy heavy little thing okay. 
So to get the tire out, since it spins while you're um, undoing the bolt, what you need to do is tighten this as much as you can. This is the drum brake side, tighten it. Then come up here to the handlebars and put your, front, your rear brake on with this little lever and it'll hold. It's leverage as I, as I want and it should come out fairly easy. Come out. There we go. That's the nut, and there's a washer right here. Don't lose that. To remove the fender, I forgot there's this bolt here, so I'm just going to remove it so it's easier for the tire to pop out. There we go. Here is that tire. I guess the drum brake. You don't see these very much unless you're riding scooters. It's kind of cool, a single-sided swing arm. I wish there was a way to show the single-sided swing arm on the Ruckus. It would look like a Ducati-ish scooter. It's so much easier not having any air in it. Make sure you catch that little stem when it pops out. Well, the rear tire is out. Look at that tiny little rim. It was much easier to remove the rear tire than the front one, but it is gone. And now we're just going to install the new wheel, which is here. All right, I got the, the tire pretty much off. And now I'm just going to install the valve stem because it fell off. So make sure that you put a few more turns in that valve stem. The bike shop, they'll pay like $60 per tire change when it takes them like 10 minutes to do but it's all technique i do hate changing tires but if i'm able to save some money why not here are two pops you're gonna hit one side and then the other make sure your hands are not in the place easier because they're look at that it is on there already it just doesn't get uh, easier than this we're gonna have to put the handbrake on again so I'm gonna do that now and I have the bolts right here that 10 millimeters and you don't even need to remove them all the way that's one thing I found there's one push the header up with your hand I took two bolts from the exhaust the longer one goes on top the shorter one at the bottom started threading them and this is a, I believe, a 12, 12 millimeter. And then right here. And now I'm going to switch to my 10 millimeter. And I'm going to get this one here on the fender, which is right here. Let's get the other. And the bike looks pretty good. I think I'm going to test drive the Ruckus really quick just up the street and see how well it rides. Let's see how these tires. And the bike starts right up. It's a really good. Uh, let me just let it warm up a bit. Yeah, this Ruckus is uh, now it should be almost 100%. This uh, lever is bent. The previous owner, I guess, dropped it, but it's no big deal. That's the good thing about these bikes. I mean, you can just like... Man, it's so much smoother. This tire really gives it uh, some nice oomph. Yeah, like, good. Well, the tires are nice and smooth. It's starting to rain too, so I'm gonna, I'm not taking it for a really long ride, but yeah, the tires definitely help it out. It is a smooth bike before because of the cupping of the tires. 
Let me just turn it on. Yeah, these tires really help out. So now I have the ruck is almost ready for for putting it on sale. All right, guys. So that is how to change the tires on your ruckas and how to remove the exhaust. Um, I, I'm not a mechanic, so sometimes I make mistakes and I kind of go over things again. But we managed to get the tires on. They look good. They're a little bit thinner than the ruckus tires that come with it, but at least these will be smoother and probably get a little bit faster as well. So I'll see you on the next video, guys.